Sir? Cooper. Yes. Hey, Cooper. Nice, nice to meet you, brother. Hi, I'm Spencer Smith. I'm 31 years old. Um, I've been training in my garage gym for a couple of years now. And uh, my day trade, uh, nothing active at all. I'm a network architect, so IT type stuff. <laughs> um, and I just follow the hybrid performance method and that keeps me accountable. Is this your first garage gym? Yes. Okay, how long have you had this one? Uh, this gym I've had for two years or just okay. over two years now, I believe. Yeah, and like so. you said, it started over there and kind of has expanded. Yeah, it's built up over time. Yeah. What, is there any equipment that you got your eye on besides the belt squat that you're like, that's what I want to get? Or is that the main one you're looking at? That's the main one. Okay. Like, I look at equipment all the time. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's fun. <laughs> but I try to, you know, consider the things that would just make the most sense. Like, what am I actually going to use? Because okay. if I don't use it, it's not worth spending money on. Definitely. Definitely. So, out of all this equipment, is there anything that you, like, wish you didn't buy because you don't use it or it's too expensive or whatever? Or maybe something you had in the past and you already sold? Anything like that? Um. I'm pretty happy with everything right, right now. That's um, good. The, the only thing is, like, I got those jammer arms that kill a deal. Yeah. Um, at full price, probably wouldn't be worth it. I don't use them yeah. that much. I mean, if the, the first thing I would start, I was starting fresh. Yeah. It's just to get the basics, like a squat stand or rack, right. a barn plates. Like, with just that, which is what I started with, you can do like 95% oh, of definitely. everything, right? Yeah. So. That's definitely what I'd start with. So when I first kind of started putting this together, like the first okay. half of the winter, I didn't have okay. it. Um, so that, that's rough, you know, I'm oh, trying to, it's when it's, especially in Minnesota, like in yeah. January, February, it's sub zero, okay. um, you know, grabbing, right. grabbing a metal bar when it's below freezing is, yeah, dude. Yeah. is hard. Uh, the biggest thing for me, since I originally started out in just like a traditional gym, yeah. and I didn't know what I was doing, was I just started in the CrossFit gym. Great. And yeah. they teach you how to do everything Certainly. and you learn how to work out. Certainly. Um, so that's, that would be my suggestion. Like if you don't know what you're doing, like just start at a CrossFit gym yeah. for like a year and they'll teach you everything you, know, you need to know and Definitely. you can go from there. How helpful has it been to have somebody train with you? Um, like, do you think most people should be just trained by themselves or do you think most people should be invited to friends? It's so much better with friends. I know, dude. So much yeah. more fun. You yeah. get so much more motivation. Um, most of my PRs have been done when friends are around. Yeah. You know, you just have all that energy and that motivation and, you know, just that, just that pumped up vibe that, um, you know, it's so much better to share it. Sweet. Okay, so, um, Skier, I noticed, oh, you got a rower too. You actually have the whole trifecta I do. of concept too. Which yes. one did you get first? Uh, it was the rower first. Okay. It was the rower, uh, then the bike, and then the, the concept two, I actually picked up um, while I was at the Arnold uh, oh, this really? year. Okay, yeah. okay. And you got it on a platform. Why'd you put it on a platform versus on the wall? Um, so a lot of what I have is just so I can move the space to how I want it. Okay. So like the way the, the rack set up, so what's a little bit different is I do have uh, that, that beam in the middle. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of set up more like two squat stands. Sweet. We can bench in the middle, cool. but then it keeps it stable because I can move this around okay. real easy yep. and it keeps it together. Okay. Um, so to just kind of any Metcon, whoever's in the space. Which concept two device, torture device do you use the most? Uh, the bike gets the most use. Okay. Um, I'd say that's because you can do a lot of the long bigger. duration stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, and it's just so easy to hop on. I mean, I yeah. I bring that in and out of the house even, just pop it okay. in front of the TV. Um, yeah. <laughs> the ski erg I love though. That I yeah. mean, it's only had for a few months now, but okay. it's it's my favorite piece of conditioning equipment. I use it the most. Yeah. I, I like it because you can like you can just jump on it any yeah. time. You don't have to strap in or anything and you can just go to town. I mean, really it's, I love it for conditioning just cause you can hammer the legs yeah. and then you can hop on that and get a good workout instead yeah. of like the bike or the rower. It's yeah, pretty painful. Legs. Over here, Adidas flat bench from Amazon, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of how things built. I, I mean, I first started with the bench, uh, the dumbbells, which I've had for like whatever, eight years or something now. Okay. Um, and it, it's solid, so oh, no, oh, haven't yeah. replaced it yet. Dude, for the price, it's like a great height, like off the ground. Sometimes yeah. these cheaper ones, they'll put them like 20 inches off the ground. It's like a standard 17. It's got these thick, like one by threes, I think, um, base. So 
I think maybe it's like 50 bucks, probably around there, 60 bucks. So good bench for the price. And if you're doing CrossFit, you're probably not benching a ton. I do probably at least once a week. Okay. So okay. I follow more of the hybrid performance method programming. Okay. I guess that's why you're sure. Yeah. Right. Hybrid. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, a lot of squats, but you know, okay. bench like once a week okay. and kind of get to everything. Okay. So is it like, are you doing like primarily CrossFit type training? Like are you training for competition or uh, I do general fitness? General fitness. Okay. I, I do competitions here and there, maybe with some friends. I've done individual before, okay. um, but otherwise, I just like to move. So, okay. um, more so powerlifting and Olympic lifting. Okay. But then I always supplement with whatever conditioning pieces. Okay. I, I started with CrossFit. So, Beautiful. so what, what's your motivation now for training? Uh, just always improve. Okay. I, I love to see the progression. Just get yeah. stronger, a little bit better every day. Yeah. Um, and just move. I just love moving and okay. staying active. Are you married with kids? Uh, married, no okay. kids. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, um, I mean, that's kind of also how the uh, setup is. So okay. me and the wife can work out at the same time. Cool. Um, we both have our own space, own bars. So. Sweet. Beautiful. Okay. Got some parallettes over here. Um, Rogue HG plates. Why'd you go with the HG plates? Um, so that's what it started with when okay. I started to build a garage gym was... Uh, this rack too? Uh, originally, originally it was actually just a squat stand, an SML2. Yep. Um, so I started with that, um, just a basic, whatever, like 250 pounds of plates yep. and the Rogue, you know, 2.0 bar. Yep, yep. Um, just started with that, you know, real reliable, not okay. too noisy. Yeah. Um, and based on where my strength was at the time, I mean, great package, so. Yeah. Um, nice rope hanger here. You do crossover symmetry quite often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I use that um, great shoulder warm up anytime I'm doing, you know, any Olympic lifts or yeah. just shoulder heavy workout. I start with that. Okay, cool. So moving over here, storage rack. I'm guessing this is Titan. That is. Okay. Yep. I've got the same one. Yep. So I uh, kind of made my own setup to what worked with what I had. Okay. Um, you know, use some of the adjustable shelves, the dumbbells. Sweet. And, uh, that one right there is the the middle shelf. Yeah. Is the same thing, just mounted sideways, just a general use shelf. Yep. They're heavy. They are. It's really like heavy. Weight, it's thick gauge steel. Like no. when I first ordered them, I was like, ah, these are going to be kind of flimsy, but man, they took forever to lift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No good. concerns about that. Definitely. Definitely. And you got rep fitness wall balls, ab mats, some cool Oso collars, <laughs> doing workouts with poker <laughs> yeah, chips. Yeah. yeah. Chips definitely to workouts. count. Yeah, definitely, dude. <laughs> Kettlebells. Yeah, all rogue. Sweet. Rogue kettlebells. And then let's talk about your bars. So. Your first one, Rogue 2.0 bar. Yep. That's the one you got with like the package. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's the beta bar. Use okay. pretty much every time I work out. It you know solid for everything. Okay. Okay. This one is uh is that stainless? Yeah. What that's, is it? that's the Puros bar. Oh. So that's actually a okay. boneyard one that I just picked up just a few weeks really? ago. Really? Okay. Um that is my favorite bar. I love that Dude, thing. They're amazing. So nice. Oh, okay. So do you do a lot of Olympic weightlifting with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, specifically for that. Yeah. Um they spin forever. So smooth. Uh, love stainless steel. That's definitely the way to go oh, for a bar. Nice. It just sticks yeah. to the hands. For a garage gym, you know, the fluctuations in temperature, um, it's not going to rust. Yeah. Uh, it was a boneyard bar, you said. Yep. So what was the problem with it? Um, I just saw like a so little bit of maybe some, tiny. some funny coloring marks. I mean, you can't even barely see it. Yeah. Except in the right light there and like maybe a nick on the sleeve. Cool. Like it was pristine. <laughs> So how it always is, yeah. So then this is a Bella bar? Yep. Okay. Yep, that's the Bella bar. Um, wife uses that, cool. loves it, use it for everything. Yeah, yeah. Great general purpose bar. Oh, you got the Titan Elite plates. These are a really popular plate. Have you been happy with them? Any issues with them? Um, no, no, they've been they've been great. Um, yeah. you know, I got them during a sale. They were like a buck seventy five a pound or something shipped. Oh dang! So right. I stocked up. I have these. I have a whole bunch more over there. So I have like sixteen of the things. Sweet. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, for me, all the friends. Um, yeah. And you know, really, as the strength's grown, I've needed some more plates, and it's great having the sweet the thinner profile plates to put on the bar. So you have a lot of people that come train with you. Uh, yeah, you have a okay. few friends that are into CrossFit and okay. and like to lift. So. What I mean, percentage of your time training by yourself would you say versus training with somebody else? Um, I'd say maybe 50% of the time okay. training by myself. Sweet. Um, I mean, a, a lot of the time actually just training with my wife. Cool. Um, okay. And then, you know, on weekends is normally when friends will come over like okay. Saturday, Sunday. Rower, I see the blue tape here. Yep, you have to just so you keep in the same spot every time? Yep, okay. just easy indication of when to stop so it's not hitting the wall. Oh, um, sweet. 
That I've had for a few years. That has over, um, or it's getting close to a million miles or okay. million meters at this point. Oh, a lot of time on that you one. You put yeah. all those meters on there? Or I guess that'd be among anybody that works out with you. I would say, I, I'm, I'm the majority user, yeah. but yeah. I mean, other people have used it. That's a lot. Uh, nice fan. I also noticed you got the hot dog. The hot, dog. hot dog. Hot <laughs> dog. Yeah. yeah, so he's in Minnesota. Which it gets is cold. Cold, dude, yeah. It gets cold. Right now it's like beautiful, but I bet during the winter it's cold. I played hockey up here. Uh, so that's kind of a necessity. Mm -hmm. Was that in here when you got the house or did you nope. install that? Okay. Nope. So when I got the house, um, it looked like a regular garage, right? Okay. Like yeah, messy, yeah. whatever. So yeah. I spent the time to uh, clean it up, paint the walls, the paint looked uh, great. insulate the ceiling, the walls and doors were already insulated. Okay. And then yeah, get, get the heater installed, which Sweet. has been a, a lifesaver. I'll bet. Um, you know, in the winter, don't keep it too hot, but get it up to like 60, 62 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Um, it's great to work out in. Sweet. So is your garage door insulated too? Yep, yep, Sweet. garage doors are insulated. So it keeps it all packed in. Yep. Uh, Concept 2 Biker, which you kind of talked about. And then your flooring looks like stall mats, right? Yep, all stall mats. I think I got them all from like Mills Fleet Farm, 30 bucks a piece, pretty yeah. cheap. Yeah, this is what we recommend to pretty much everybody. I mean, it's yeah. the best price. Been, been solid. Yeah, Rep Fitness plate tree here. Um, this one, the first gym we went had the same exact plate tree. For the price, this is probably the best value because they've got the nice chrome sleeves, um, which they don't chip like the powder coat. And then what bar is this? Um, so that's another Boneyard bar that I got a okay. couple years ago. That's the Olympic training bar. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. great. It's held up well. You haven't had any issues with it? Yeah, no, I've, I've really liked it until I uh, got the Purist bar. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. That's kind of replaced it. Okay, sweet. And then this, this is the kind of the the big piece in the gym. Uh, yeah, I noticed the lever arms. I saw these when I came in. These are the first monster light lever arms I've seen in person. Uh, so one, how do you like the rack? Uh, love the rack. Okay. Um, so really, like I said, it started out with a SML2. Um, really what I did was just bought another SML2. Oh, that made the most sense. Okay. And just bought the cross members up top to merge them. Sweet. Um, and it works out great because, um, you know, can squat both sides simultaneously. Yep. Bench in the middle. Um, it's solid piece, love it. Did you get the lever arms during the sale? I did. The two hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's a great deal. So did I. I got the same ones. Yeah. Um, Do you use them very often, or is it kind of just like? It's an accessory piece. Yeah. Um, you know, I found like doing any kind of uh, like suitcase deadlifts or rows, um, yeah. some shoulder accessory stuff, yeah. uh, bench press. You know, I found if I wrap a a band on the back post. Sweet. And put it on the uh, on the peg here. Yeah, it really great resistance. Okay, uh, that's kind of a favorite exercise there on yeah. chest days. Yeah, I like doing car deadlifts with it. it simulated car deadlifts. Oh yeah. So you drop from the bottom. Yeah, those are great. Um, any pieces you're looking to get? Any any new gym equipment that's on the horizon? Uh, the only other thing I've been eyeing is one of the belt squats. That's kind of okay. a hot thing now, right? Yeah. So yeah. either maybe like the. Uh, the Rhino belt squat, or I've been looking at the um, the squat max, okay. right? Because that's yeah. again something you can kind of shift around to your Definitely. use. Connect Definitely. it, connect it right to the rack, or put yeah. it away. Both of them are great. If you're, um, I've got both. I like the squat max preferred for squatting. Like if you're just going to use it for squatting, Good. but if you're doing like multiple movements with it, like rows or deadlifts or anything like that, the Rhino is premier. Yeah. Rhino sweet. So, so obviously the biggest thing here is space. Yes, yeah, you know definitely. what? What can I get the most use of space and kind of shift things around to our yeah. needs? Well, this is like you've got a one stall right here taken up. So he's still. It's a three car garage, but you're parking two cars. Yep. And then you've got one, which is like I mean, you've got pretty much anything you'd ever need. It's like a mini CrossFit gym, um, <laughs> yeah. which is I mean, it's smart because then you can park two cars. Do you have any plans to take over this stall? Um, you know, I talked about it with the wife. She yeah. said, I absolutely can. Okay. I just have to park outside. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you have so, decided if you want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, in the summer, that's fine. In the winter, it's a little rough. Yeah. But. No, definitely. Definitely. It's kind of like the garage gym creep. You just, the more you get into it, it the more you buy, you just it, fill up the space. It originally started in just that corner, like four stall okay. mats and it's slowly <laughs> grown until it took the whole stall. Yeah. Yeah. So do you train just here or do you train at another gym as well? Uh, primarily here. Okay. Um, I have one friend who coaches at a gym that's like 20 minutes from here. Okay. So I'll occasionally drop into that CrossFit gym. And... Sweet. Okay. Beautiful. Well, uh, you want to go ahead and work out? Sure. Absolutely.